What a wonderful place here on the edge of the world to listen to some Mark Shapiro. Accessories. I'm obviously Jewish in Texas. Wrote a very um, interesting article. Uh, a synagogue in Palm Beach, Florida, challenged the constitutionality of the abortion restrictions, the new abortion restriction in Florida, and they claim that it uh, violates Jewish law. So what Professor Blackman makes the claim, he wants to know whether this can be treated at all seriously because reform doesn't accept Jewish law. And if you don't keep kosher and you don't keep Shabbos, he, his argument is it's very difficult to claim that uh, the abortion law is putting make, is, is placing a religious burden upon you because by definition, reform doesn't accept Jewish law. So how could you accept Jewish law just in this one case to make the argument? And uh, uh, any of our lawyers here, you might find this of interest. And finally, the last thing I want to mention, otherwise I can stay all night, is uh, I have to make a, a little bit of a correction on something um, about Shira Shiri. I was right, but not exactly. Song uh, songs. Um, I mentioned Raphael Breuer. Raphael Breuer. He wrote a commentary on Shira Shirim that he took it literally, and that's true. And then I started waxing eloquent about how, especially today's day and age, this is something we, it's very nice to look at Shira Shirim, love, etc. Actually, what I was uh, channeling wasn't Yaakov Barth, uh, as I was saying, it was, sorry, wasn't um, Yaakov Barth, wasn't um, Raphael Breuer, it was actually Yaakov Barth. Yaakov Barth, the son of Israel Hildesheimer, he also writes about Shira Shirim and speaks about the allegorical interpretation, but he also speaks about everything I just mentioned about how. Um, it's um you know the marriage and love uh this is uh they're betwaying the on a bore and uh we, you know it's all about positive so i mentioned this because Rafael Breuer actually has a different play on it he he takes it literally also as an important meaning however he sees the, the significance of the literalness in that contrary to Yaakov Barth who was, was the son of Israel Hildesheimer taught at the Biblical Seminary of Berlin a great great scholar um Rafael Breuer sees it as teaching you how to hold, what not to do. He reads Shira Shiri as a message how not, the exact opposite of art, how a love that is not sneeustic. And Shira Shirim is telling you how not to express love. Uh, so it's literal, but it's actually... Uh... Okay, so the traditional Orthodox interpretation is that Shira Shirim, Song of Songs, without God's love for Israel, uh, it seems very removed from the actual passionate, you know, visceral, physical nature of the text. But here you've got a rabbi saying that uh, Song of Songs is teaching us about the wrong way to pursue love and eros. Uh, it's expressing it, and you're supposed to learn how, how our love has to be a more sneostic. So it's a very interesting reading. And those who want to learn about Shira Shiri, I recommend this volume, obviously, the, um, the Das Nikra, because really in total opposition to Art Scroll, which Art Scroll says that the Art Scroll, the language is that it says that the literal meaning is so wrong that it is so incorrect that it's not even a possible meaning. It's absolutely incorrect. If you look in the, um, and this is, comes right out of, you know, the Center of Religious Zionism, uh, two of the uh, editors are um, Mordechai Breuer, Shal Israeli, the great Pose. It explains, this is an introduction to Amos Nacham, obviously there's an allegorical interpretation, but there's also the literal interpretation, and uh, they, they, he affirms it for the very same reasons Yaakov Bart. That we shouldn't be ashamed. So everything I was... Uh, Transmitting is it comes from good sources, just not from a fault lawyer, because although he sees it as literal, he thinks the stress is actually on the band sort of law. Uh, uh, so we Jews, although we're small, we're a minority, we're going to teach you that's our mission. And we're gonna we're gonna teach you not just through doctrines, but through our life. We live a moral life. Jews are not involved in the world. Jews are involved in the uh, Yeah, Takuna Lam, baby.